All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, I have a wider range of view than my other videos because I got a GoPro. I would show it to y'all, but um, you you am them. You, you're in my GoPro. You are my GoPro, kind of, technology. Um, but anyway, you can, you can also see that my room is a complete disaster. It's a mess. Uh, I got laundry that I still have to fold. My, my bed's not made. I got, I got a dog laying on my bed. What's he doing there? He's sleeping. He's my co-host, but he's tuckered out. He had a long day of pooping. Um, so anyway, that being said, uh, this video is going to be... It's a little bit of a downer, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but... Um, after this weekend and after the video I made on my Instagram talking about my uh, struggles with alcoholism, I wanted to expand on some of that because I got some uh, I got some feedback from that video and um, it made me feel like some some of you can benefit from what I have to say about my experiences. Um, so bear with me. I'm gonna get choked up a little bit. And you guys might get choked up a little bit. So bear with me. Um, I feel like it's a lot of good information that I wish that I had somebody share with me. So, without further ado, um, you're gonna see a little bit of you know fun footage of me having some fun and cleaning up. And yes, I said fun. I love it. I love to clean. I love to do things at home. I love to do chores. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. So you're gonna see some of that. And then after I do that, after I shower, I'll sit down and we'll we'll have a real conversation about my struggles with alcoholism and how it has affected my life and how how much of a positive impact um, quitting drinking has made on my life. Okay guys, here it is. This is my tattoo to signify my end of alcohol as I'm wearing a Jägermeister shirt. Um, to, to signify the end of my relationship with alcohol. Um, I guess to start at the beginning, I got um, hooked on alcohol. I started drinking much like every other man does. Hold on, let me readjust this really quickly. Much like any other man does where um, my relationship with it started at a very young age where the classic blue collar machismo man thing is you know you clock out at five o'clock and you know you're at the bar by 5 30 and you know you're out there doing your thing and you go home to a wife that cooked you a meal and you know you you, you go home to tuck your kids in bed with the smell of alcohol in your breath and you know my role models in my life were, were no different than that and you know, not to say anything bad about my father, but he definitely had his um, struggles with alcohol himself. And much to his credit, he actually put the bottle down for 10 years at least. Uh, I'd say when he was about the same age that I am right now. So it's kind of fitting that I 
had this a similar revelation. Um, fortunately for me, I was able to learn from a lot of his mistakes, just like he did with his father. So um, I didn't quite get to the rock bottom point that he did when he decided to quit. But um, I certainly, you know, hey, it's okay, baby. The dogs are trying to play. I certainly got to a point where um, it affected my life, my work, my relationships, my friendships. And um, it's not until now that I can look back with hindsight and say like, I was definitely an alcoholic. I'll say it right now. So um, that being said, I didn't even go into this with the intentions of quitting drinking. Um, I my my idea was that I would I would put down beer and I'd still drink whiskey once in a while. And uh, you know I, I kind of have. I'm, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. There's been three or four occasions in the last five months since I started this diet that I have had whiskey. Um, but it's okay but every time I've completely regretted it immediately afterwards and um, come here baby. come here and honestly I don't I, I thought that it might spiral me back into craving things and you know I'd say at this point I can go through every single day without ever even wanting to drink which is kind of amazing for me uh, that's that's my personal victory is that I get through days I get through hard weeks of work I get through hard days I get through celebratory days without even wanting to drink and I'm really proud of that I am entirely proud of that guys and um, I can't stress enough like oh yeah like I was saying though no, that I I didn't I didn't intend to stop drinking and you know it was how productive I was and how good I felt after I put the bottle down that really kind of pushed this forward in that direction this this wasn't about that and it wasn't until I really, I mean, I knew that I had some issues, but it wasn't until I really got through to that point that I was just like, yeah, a lot of the things that were holding me down was the alcohol. So it wasn't just the carbs, it wasn't just the sugar and soy and all that stuff, but the alcohol played a huge part in what held me down, what made me overweight, what made me um, not, uh, not inspired or motivated, what made me, um, you know, go back out to drink like if, if if I drank one night then the next day I was hung over I mean everybody everybody knows hair of the dog so then you wake up the next day and you go through work and then as soon as you don't work you go out and drink again just to get rid of that hangover like that's a cycle that never ends and you start to crave it you, you, you look forward while you're drinking you look forward to the next day you're drinking I I didn't want to live that life anymore and I'm, I'm happy that I don't live it so um, I just want to put that out there I want I want to let you guys know that uh, that was my experience with it. So if you are, you know, going through your ketogenic diet or you're trying to live a healthier lifestyle, um, try try not drinking for a month or two, and I mean legitimately try not drinking for a month or two. And um, you know, let me know in the comments how it works out for you. You know what I mean? If you've done it in the past, let's talk about that. And um, I really I really think that any anybody out there who has any kind of you know. Let's just say if you look forward to drinking the next time you drink, just try it out. You know, it's, it's been it's been really good for me. And I think the most beautiful part for the situation I'm in is that I didn't let it get to a point where I, you know, hit rock bottom or had a DUI or had a wife that, you know, gave me an ultimatum or, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be in any other situation, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where it's time for me to make more healthy decisions and I can, if I want to, decide like, oh, I can have a shot. Or if I wanted to, I could still go out and get wasted, but I don't want to. And that's the beautiful part of it. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. And the freedom behind that, the freedom in making it my choice and it, and it being something that I progressively work towards is making my resolve stronger in it. So do it before it becomes a prison for you. 